in the previous two samples we saw that how we can use the view and the controller we also saw, saw you know a simple sample of how we can pass the data by using view data from the controller to the view now when we talk about mvc in totality or when we talk about mvc as a complete thing there is one more important entity which we have yet not touched and that is the model so what we'll do in this video is we'll create a simple model at the end of the day model is nothing but a class so we'll create a simple class called as customer we'll create that object of the class in the controller and we'll will flourish that customer object with some data and that data we will display on the view so in this lab we will see a simple sample of model using the mvc template so in order to understand the model well what we will do is we'll create a simple controller a simple view and we'll create a class called as customer class uh, which will have the customer id property a customer code property and amount property then this model this customer class right we will create a object in the controller we'll flourish it with some data and then we'll pass this object to the view and in the view and we will display the the values of the object so in other words uh, whatever ob whatever values we have flourished in the controller will display it on the view that is our aspx page so let's do the simple sample create a customer class create the object on the controller flourish it with some dummy data pass it to the view and display the same so let's open our visual studio let's let's go to the new project let's take up the mvc mt web application asp.net mvc mt web application template and uh, let's give a nice name to this uh, mvc customer okay and let's press okay so the mvc template has created all the necessary structure to create a project so the first step will what we'll do is let's go ahead and create our customer class okay so let's start from the bottom so add new item let's select the class and let's say customer.cs so this is our model and let's create three properties in this customer class one is the id the other one is a customer code and the last one is amount so uh, here's the id property with a simple integer data type the next one is the customer code property you know which is a string and the final one is a simple amount property with a double we have put the double so that you know because we can also capture the decimals so we are done with creating a simple customer class a customer model with id customer code and amount let's compile this project so that everything is fine looks fine now the next step is basically to go and add a controller and that controller would create the object of this customer class flourish it with some data and pass it to the view so let's go ahead and create a new action by using a controller so let's go and add a controller and uh, let's give a name to this controller load customer and display okay so anybody who calls load customer and display uh, you know would create a customer object and pass it to a view you know where we can display the data which is provided in the object so let me go and do a add here so that's our controller which is created load customer and display so let's first go and uh, import the model so the model is currently located in mvc customer dot models so let's first go and import this namespace here so using mvc models and let's go ahead and create the customer class here so customer the object of the customer so which a customer is equal to new customer and let's flourish it with some data so uh, obj customer dot id is equal to something 1001 i'll give uh, okay obj customer dot customer code is equal to let me give it a c001 and uh, obj customer dot customer some amount is equal to i'll just give as 900.78 something so what we have done is we have created the controller right and in the action of the controller we are creating the customer object and this customer object we would like to pass to a view and we would like to display the customer object in the view so let's go ahead and add a view so click on the index function add view let's keep the view name as it is index and now this view we need to associate it with the model so in order to associate the view with the model you can see that there is something called as a create a strongly type view so we would like to create a strong type view so that we can access the customer object easily so let's check this create a strong type view and once we check the create a strong type view we can go and select the customer class and map this customer class to this view so what will happen is we can easily access 
the object inside this view and we'll go and unselect this select master page we don't want to uh, inherit from a master page as such at this moment and let's say add so here's a view so let's go ahead and start displaying the customer object data in this view so we'll say uh, the customer ID is percentage equal to to display now in order to access the object over here in the view we have to type model dot so if you see we have got a strongly typed object here and we can access the object as well as the property values so let's tab here so the customer ID is model dot ID let's put a BR tag so that in the same way let's display customer name so sorry customer code I'm sorry customer code dot customer code same way customer amount so that's the complete display we have so let's just go and build this great now uh, one more thing you know which we have not done is in the controller when we are invoking the view we are not passing this object over here so let's go and ensure that we pass the object here so you can see that basically in the view we can pass the object model so I'll say when I invoke this view please pass the object here so we went ahead and we created the load customer and display action we created the customer object in the controller and this object is passed to the view and then inside the view we are displaying the values using the model object so everything is set and ready so let's build this whole solution and let's run it so let's do a control F5 here so there's our application running and uh, this error is but obvious because we have yet not invoked the action so let me just copy this load and customer display action and let me just paste it on the browser and let me run it so you can see that basically the object which was uh, you know created in the controller is now displayed on the view so you know just if you want to see step by step how this is, this has been invoked so let's go and put a debug point on the controller okay and let's run this in a F5 mode so yes I want to debug and uh, there's my browser which is running and there's the error so let's call the load and customer display so you can see that the time I invoke the action it has gone into the debug point so the first thing is it will go and create the customer object and it will flourish this data what we have passed in the in the controller so if you go and add this obj customer to the debug point so let me just go and select the obj customer add watch so you can see that basically the obj customer is filled up with this three data and now this filled customer object will be passed to the view so let's do f11 so now the view will start running so we'll go into the debug point in the debug mode of the view so there's our ASPX page and you can see that the first one is model.id so if you do a quick watch here it's let's go and see the complete model so if you do a quick watch reevaluate you can see all the data here and FI and that's our actual display completely so we hope that you have enjoyed this video in this video we saw that how can how should we create a model and how can that model be displayed on the view now definitely in actual projects right the model will not be flourished the way we have flourished it in a hard coded way right it will be flourished by by some ui that means uh, it will be flourished via text boxes buttons and combo boxes etc so in the coming up uh, video right what we will do is we'll create a simple screen you know where we can go and enter customer id customer code and amount and that will be a submit button and when you click on the submit button the customer object will be flourished and then we will display the the customer object in a different screen okay so in the coming up video we will see that how we can create a simple input screen using the mvc template thanks a lot